videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lenny Kravitz is a singer, songwriter, record producer, and more who combines elements from genres like rock, blues, R&B, funk, and many more in his music, creating his unique sound. Among his awards and accolades, Lenny won the Grammy Award for Best Male Rock Vocal Performance for a whopping four years in a row from 1999 to 2002, breaking the record. In his career, Kravitz has sold over 40 million albums worldwide and amassed a hefty fortune to go along with it. At the time of this recording, his net worth is estimated to be around $80 million or more. Aside from being a rock god for over 30 years, Mr. Kravitz, being the creative that he is, started spreading his aesthetic in more places than music, including interior design. Lenny's personal residences over the years were all decked out in his distinct retro chic style, and in the end, he formed his own company. Kravitz Design Inc. was founded in 2003, and he's gone on to work on a number of high profile projects from Las Vegas to Toronto and almost everywhere in between. One of Lenny's more recent and personal projects has been the ongoing reimagining of an 18th century coffee plantation in Brazil. We'll also take a look at this place in the video. Hey guys, it's Karen. I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I've been noticing a lot of copycat channels recently, but we're the original source for celebrity house tours, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and show your support. We post a new video daily. Today we're going to take a look at where rock star Lenny Kravitz calls home, including his longtime home in Paris, a couple of his former properties in the US, and more. If you like this video, be sure to check out our recent house tours on legends like Little Richard and Prince, which we'll link to at the end. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Since Lenny is a rock star who loves to design, one of his personal projects and former homes is this unique property located in New Orleans, Louisiana. Located just a block from the busy Bourbon Street, this Creole cottage looks run down from the outside, but the inside is super luxurious. The home is super cool to say the least. I've never seen anything like it. Lenny bought the 19th century property back in 1994, then gutted the interiors, but preserved what the listing referred to as an artfully distressed exterior. The cottage the cottage remains true to its origins in that way as well as in the rear courtyard. It's believed the building dates back to 1830 and was once owned by a free woman of color, later being turned into a restaurant at some point in history. The cottage boasts around 2,400 square feet in total, with a main living area that's said to be about 1,800 square feet. The main living area is spread over two levels in a unique layout where one bedroom comprises the entire upper floor. This loft-like space also has an imported French spiral staircase connecting the floors, while the main living room has black oak floors and exposed brick walls. The open kitchen boasts a 14-foot granite island and plenty of old world charm like the rest of the home. The mezzanine level upstairs has plenty of skylights and it kind of reminds me of a nightclub. Two baths in the home are decked out in marble and overlook the courtyard, while the master bath has three sinks, a Japanese soaking tub, and a rain shower. Steel beaded curtains separate the living room from a cozy lobby area, which then leads to the courtyard outside. Here there's an outdoor dining table table and walls for privacy. Kravitz sold the property in 2012 to an architect who specializes in music venue design and he did some remodeling of his own. Maybe that explains why the upper floor reminds me of a nightclub. He did expand the mezzanine level as well as some other add-ons. Next up is one of Lenny's former properties in Manhattan. If the home looks familiar, it's because he sold it to another famed musician back in 2010 for $12.75 million and we featured it on here in the past. The buyer was none other than Alicia Keys and her man Swiss beats. Lenny first bought this gorgeous mansion in the sky back in 2000 for about $7.1 million, located in the heart of the Soho neighborhood in New York City, and it's reportedly come up on the market again since the last famous residence. Spanning 6,167 square feet of space, this sprawling triplex penthouse was built to wow. Not to mention, there's an additional 3,000 square feet of enchanting terrace space, and you could only enter the home through a keyed elevator to any floor. The sun-filled loft offered five Five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and four powder rooms, along with many fancy amenities. There's plenty of glass built into the penthouse in the form of soaring skylights, floor to ceiling windows and sliders, and more. The eat in kitchen in this place is massive with plenty of windows, as well as expensive appliances and a walk in butler's pantry. For the more formal evenings or entertaining guests, there's a separate dining room encased in a glass solarium. There's also a sprawling living room with fireplace, wine storage, and a library media room. The impressive three 
5,000 square foot terrace that wraps around the unit is one of the best in Soho, offering unbeatable views and features like a wood burning fireplace. While at the topmost level, a glass staircase leads to an additional rooftop deck with barbecue area. Another floating glass staircase in the main level leads up to the private master suite. Here there's every feature you could imagine, like a spa, pass through dressing room and of course a private terrace. Despite living in and designing some of the coolest spots in the US, Lenny feels his real home is across the pond in Paris, France. One of his long time and main residences is located here which he still apparently lives at to this day, at least part time. It's said the rock star divides his time equally between here and the Bahamas where he lives in a souped up Airstream trailer. Paris has been his town since his 1989 debut album which earned him success in Europe before America and he found this house 13 years ago. The property is unique a four story palatial residence which used to be an entire hotel building at one point and spans over 16,000 square feet inside with seven or eight bedrooms. It was originally built in the 1920s and given a full restoration in 2008 and includes a lavish foyer and a spacious living room with garden access and two additional sitting rooms. The entryway does look like a hotel lobby with the soaring ceilings and upscale staircase. It's also called the ground floor reception room and there's even a crystal chandelier overhead. Other rooms include a classy black dining room, Lenny's office, and a moody library with mirrored ceilings. His marble master bath was actually made out of three rooms in the residence, so you know how luxurious it is. One of the sitting rooms here is charming with white furnishings and a soft rug, while listing materials claim Lenny's mansion has a total of four kitchens. At one point, he actually had this place up as a short term rental, and it didn't cost too much, you know, only about 200k per month. That price did include access to the rock star's lavish furnishings and house cleaning services, but still. Of course, the place is so massive that when you're too tired to use the stairs, there's also an elevator servicing all levels. Aside from his personal residences, Lenny is always keeping busy with his design projects and back in 2019, he opened the doors to one he had been working on for years. This is the reimagining of an 18th century Brazilian coffee plantation. While he was touring, he discovered this place outside Rio de Janeiro and he connected back with nature. He said about this time, I never felt more calm, peaceful and closer to God. It was a magical time. I thought I'm done with the hustle and the bustle. I'm going to be a farmer. So that never happened, but he did purchase a 1,000 acre property a couple years later here. His plan was to maintain the farm operation there and create a personal retreat for family, friends, colleagues and more. He described it as a place to unplug, reset your life and take the time to be quiet and actually hear yourself. And we can see that's exactly what he created. The sprawling property has a village of 19th century Portuguese colonial style farmhouses and outbuildings. Some were converted into guest houses, a gym, a pool house and of course a recording studio. The house boasts pieces designed by family, local designers and artists. You can see Lenny's love for his family throughout the place with photos of his mother, his cousin and his grandfather on the walls. So now we've taken a look at the homes of rock star and designer Lenny Kravitz or at least a few of them and what did you guys think? I had no idea he was an interior designer and that he's carried out so many projects, that's for sure. I also love his style which we could see in most of his residences. And my favorites were definitely the New Orleans cottage because it was so cool on the inside as well as his Paris mansion because that place is just a palace. Be sure to tell me which of Lenny's homes was your favorite down in the comments or what features you liked best. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye!